and greetings everyone in this video we will be looking at another exam type question on linear programming for NCA level 3 at an achieve level so some of the skills that will be covered uh, will be uh, going over linear programming processes and steps uh, forming in equations uh, graphing these in equations using Desmos and then we'll be looking at obtaining a feasible region and then uh, we'll find the optimal solution so to achieve you will uh, need to demonstrate uh, any two skills so let's uh, look at the example so in this question it says a furniture company produces uh, inexpensive uh, tables and chairs the production uh, process for each is similar in that uh, both require a certain number of hours of carpentry work and a certain number of uh, labor hours in the painting uh, department each uh, table takes four hours of carpentry and two hours uh, in the painting department um, each chair requires uh, three hours of carpentry and one hour in the painting department uh, during the current production period 240 hours of carpentry time are available and 100 hours of painting is available so these are the uh, maximum uh, number of times it's available and then it says uh, each table uh, sold yields a profit of seven dollars and uh, each chair produced is uh, sold for a five dollar profit so the question says how many uh, tables and how many chairs the company needs to uh, manufacture in order to uh, reach the maximum profit so what we need to do first is uh, we need to define the variables so in this case i'll say let x be the number of uh, tables that are manufactured and y be the number of chairs that are manufactured so what i have uh, done then is using the variable x for tables and uh, variable y for chairs i've created this uh, table it's easier to uh, look at the two um, constraints we were given one was carpentry the uh, number of hours available was uh, 240 and uh, painting uh, the total number of hours available was 100 hours so I've got this total here and then uh, four hours of carpentry work so four over there and then two hours of painting for uh, making tables and then she is three hours of uh, carpentry and requires one hour of painting so it's very easy to uh, create this table it's not compulsory for you to create a table but uh, from the table it's uh, then uh, it's easy to uh, form uh, uh, in equations in this question we want to maximize profit so each table sold yields a profit of seven dollars so it's seven x x is uh, a variable that denotes a table so seven x plus five why very easy to uh, form this uh, objective function and then uh, we will uh, use this information to create the um, in equations so for carpentry we've got 4x plus 3y is less than equal to 240 remember 240 hours is the maximum carpentry time that's available so they can use 240 or less likewise uh, we've got painting 2x plus y is less than equal to 100 because that was the maximum uh, time that's available and then uh, non-negativity uh, constraints we have got uh, x is greater than equal to zero and also y is greater than equal to zero what this means is that uh, they uh, cannot produce negative number of uh, tables and chairs so it has to be at least zero means zero or more non-manufactured or more then uh, what we will do is we'll quickly graph these using Desmos and uh, then uh, we'll find the feasible region and the uh, vertices that go with that. On uh, Desmos.com uh, what we need to do is we'll type all the um, equations that we formed. Uh, so for first one was 4x plus 3y. 3y is uh, less than equal to 240 and then we had 2x plus y is less than 100 hours available for painting and then we had non-negativity constraints uh, x is greater than or equal to zero and y is greater than or equal to zero now once i've got those uh, the, then we can uh, quickly zoom out to see the uh, feasible region now feasible region is the common section uh, common overlap so as you can see it's over here now if it's hard for you to see the uh, feasible region then you can reverse these signs in that case uh, you will get an unshaded region which will represent the uh, feasible region uh, and then uh, you just click on these uh, 
where is this the intersections the uh, so we'll use these uh, vertices and substitute in the um, objective function and see which one gives uh, maximum profit so let's quickly uh, do that so what i've done is uh, using these vertices i've already filled in the um, uh, table uh, what i would suggest is if you can uh, pause the uh, video and uh, complete this table yourself and see if your answer matches with this one um, zero zero means x value is zero and so is y value so we need to substitute the coordinates in the right spots to get the uh, profit in the objective function so uh, you can clearly see that um, what I've done was, uh, for example, if it's uh, 0 and 80, so x value is 0, so 7 times 0 plus 5 times 80 gives you 400, and likewise I fill the rest. And uh, it's pretty obvious uh, when you look at this, uh, you can see that the maximum value here is uh, 410, so maximum profit is 410, and the way we can obtain this is by having x value of 30 and y value of 40, and remember we have defined x as uh, a number of tables that needs to be manufactured, and uh, the y value was defined as uh, cheers so we need to write a sentence uh, describing that so a furniture company needs uh, to uh, manufacture 30 tables and uh, 40 cheers um, this will give them a maximum profit of 410 dollars so you can clearly see here guys it's uh, pretty straightforward uh, if you're using desmos it's easier to uh, use shading out to see the feasible region um, uh, but either way, you will still get the same uh, vertices and then substitute in the objective function, profit objective function, and then see which one gives you maximum and then write a sentence describing how many of each they need to manufacture because that was our first uh, question. If you don't have the um, Desmos calculator, then you can do it on a graphics calculator. You can find the points of intersection for these lines or you can solve it simultaneously. You will still end up with the same uh, um, uh, solution. To achieve, you will need to demonstrate any two uh, uh, different skills. Now, in the next video, I'll do part B, which will lead to um, excellence. I uh, hope this uh, helps. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.